one more show, and this will all be in your rearview mirror. Okay? Chill out and keep it together. Yeah? Keep it together. To remain calm and clear thinking, especially in the face of problems or difficulties. Another example. <laughs> Excuse me, Gabriel was hot. Okay, I'm gonna split the diff. I'm gonna picture my high school French teacher. Split the diff, short for split the difference, to take a position roughly midway between two alternatives. Another example. I want you to do a play with me. What? It's one night only, regional theater. Oh, but they have very deep pockets. Have deep pockets. To have a lot of money, or access to a lot of money. Another example. Where I wouldn't offer you this job. What exactly is it that you want me to do? I have deep pockets, Jason. Vast resources, but the one thing I don't have is access. Kathy, what are you still doing here? You're on in five. I'm going, I'm going. Don't get your panties in a twist. Get your panties in a twist. To become upset about something that is not very important. Informal. Another example. Do me a favor. Don't get your panties in a twist over a preview like some rookie. And don't tell me how to do my job. This is my town. You got it! So I'm fired. You're dragging the energy of the band down. We're trying to grow wings, and you're... You just... You're not on board. Be on board. To be in agreement with. To be ready or willing to participate. Another example. Chandler. Yeah. Are you on board? Yes. <laughs> then problem solved. Chandler will be running our office in Tulsa. You're gonna love Oklahoma. I like to take my half of the business and begin the next phase of my journey. Come on, man. You know I can't buy you out. I, I don't save like you. Well, I already spoke to J.J. Ruskin in town, and he could take a look at our books. He'll give us a fair shake. Give a fair shake. To treat someone in a way that gives everyone the same chances as everyone else. Another example. <laughs> Jed won the lottery this morning. He what? 25 grand on a scratcher. The universe makes no sense. That is a hat on a hat. Uh, I can't even process that right now. A hat on a hat means two things too close to each other so that they distract from each other. Another example. Did this not work for you because A, vampires are played out, or B, claiming that I also invented Facebook was kind of a hat on a hat? After three years radio silence, what is this, some kind of 12-step thing? You're rageaholic? You're here to make amends? No. This isn't easy for me, Michael. I know that we have hurt each other in the past. I know that I have hurt you terribly. To make amends. To do something to correct a mistake that someone has made or a bad situation that someone has caused. Another example. She did send you your favorite toy after all these years. Maybe she's trying to make amends. Oh, make amends? She couldn't even make me a sandwich. <laughs> she's a regular little Michael Weston. Who? Michael Weston, the detective from Burn Notice. Pull the plug on this thing, Sterling. Play it safe. Pull the plug to prevent something from happening or continuing. Informal. Another example. Blink once if you want me to pull a plug. Don't pull any plugs. All the idioms, expressions, and phrasal verbs explained on our channel. All the most useful and popular gathered in one place. Check out our PDF materials for comfortable study. Print versions available as well. Links in the description below. You got a thing for Sarah? A thing? 
for little daddy's girl, gets everything she wants. Princess in her castle. Have a thing for someone. To have very strong feelings about someone. Another example. I mean, you saw him do a love scene. So maybe you don't have a thing for Joey. Maybe you have a thing for Drake. Huh. The offer stands. If you ever get in a jam, you have my number. To be or get in a jam. To be in trouble or in a difficult situation. Another example. Ladies, attention please. I am in a jam and I need lipstick and eyeliner. You might give him a break, is all I'm saying. He's a vibe killer. Can't read a room, it stresses me out. Read the room. To analyze the general mood of the people in a particular setting and act accordingly. Another example. The school board offered me a position. Ooh, Ooh great. Yeah. Oh, cool. right. Well, I got a part in a play and we were sort of talking about that, so read the room, Pelton. Wait. When you said you were about to get reamed. Oh, right. That. No, sometimes for fun, we throw reams of paper at each other. Bernard, not a good time. Read the room. You know who that is? Uh, yeah, it's Mr. Kane. Yeah, Casimir Kane, oil guy, right. You know why you know who he is? Well, he's a high roller. Anything he asks for, we bump it to the top of the ticket and tell the floor boss. High roller. A person who spends or risks large amounts of money. When I brought a car around, I, I noticed that somebody had been messing with the brakes. Imagine that. So I fixed them for her and, you know, gratis. Gratis. Without charge. For free. Your first shot won't be your last. It's so sweet, a fiery tree. It's time to eat my sucker punch. Damn, that is an earworm. Earworm. A catchy song that you keep hearing in your head. Another example. Okay, I'm gonna split the diff. I'm gonna picture my high school French teacher. You can take a look at our books. You'll give us a bit of shape. If you ever get in a jam, you have my number. Why well, don't get your panties in a twist? That is a hat on a hat. Chill out and keep it together. 